I mean, there's so many number of areas that not just we as a company, but generally from the cybersecurity market are changing. Number one is just the number of tools, the number of sprawl, the numbers of different vendors out there that are selling. And we can see that increasing. We have every year an annual hybrid cloud security survey and 69% of all IT leaders and security leaders just could not cope with tool sprawl. So we can see that only getting bigger and obviously that leads then to consolidation and that's going to be one of the key factors that we're already seeing now and I think is going to be changing over the next few years. So try to reduce the number of vendors that you have because for every vendor needs to be training, needs to be a renewal for that, needs to be support for that product. And we as a company are very, very keen to make sure that you're utilizing every single product that you have to get the best out of that. Because again, the smaller number, the more that you can manage, the more secure you can potentially be. Another area is zero trust. And that is becoming more and more prevalent. And I can only see that getting bigger over the next few years. Again, back to our survey, 80% of IT security vendors that we, uh, security leaders, sorry, that we spoke to, they all said that zero trust will become a major topic for them over the next 12 months. So again, if you can't see everything, then for you can't be compliant, you can't actually look at zero trust. So I think those areas just as a whole are going to be one of those. But back to partnering, the skills gap is increasing. I think the partner players have become even more important because those end users are really struggling to be able to keep on top of all of these tools. They're going to look to partners to be able to actually plug that gap and more importantly, make sure they look after each of those products. Oh, with that exclusive, we couldn't work, you know, not just here in the Middle East, but across the whole of Europe, we work with exclusive networks. We consider them as part of our team. They're an extension of our sales force because we have one channel manager in this region and more importantly, we can't be in every single partner. So therefore, Exclusive are doing part of that job for us. They're making sure that every single product that we're trying to sell is more importantly being pushed out to those different partners that we work with. So number one, they're an extension of our sales force. And actually, from an exclusive point of view, it's the other ecosystem vendors that are really important. Exclusive are selling a lot of our different alliance partners that our product works with, either we're taking feeds from or feeding feeds into or feeding data into which makes our tool and more importantly those other vendors tools more effective and make you getting more bang for buck as we say so actually exclusive a better place than we are to be able to go out and properly solution sell rather than just sell one particular product they're going out and selling a solution they're selling an idea that they can sell how about educating your customers on the ROI of investing and second quality solutions ROI is always a really important term and more importantly, trying to prove ROI is quite difficult. But number one, straight off the bat, we actually have an ROI calculator on our public website and we encourage any end users to try that. But first of all, understanding what the benefit can be straight off the bat. So when it comes to return on investment, being able to get more bang for buck, as I said before, is making sure you can get the best out of every single product. Our tool is specifically top garnished towards making sure that they can create that return on investment, i.e. we're reducing the amount of data that's in there and only giving the most important data to each of those security and network vendors. So already they're able to then cope with those alerts that are coming in. So again, that's where we're talking about return on investment. Typically, and again, back to any survey, back to what we try, we typically see a return on investment within nine months if they purchase a Gigamon product to not only aid them to pay back that investment they've made in Gigamon, but also to start getting better utilization out of all those other vendors as well. So again, I certainly say from an ROI point of view, that's one thing we really push, but don't take our word for it. Go to the website and try our ROI calculator. That allows you to edit all of the information, all of the costs of all of the tools that you already have in play. And it will give you an idea of how successful our tool can be to try and help you as an end user to be able to use our product and more importantly gain a benefit from there. And the final part is, Again, we're a company, you can take our word for it, but we'd rather you try it. So we have POCs and demos that allow you to use our product in your own environment. And that's by far the best method for you to be able to see how our product works and gives you ROI. Before taking any journey, and it's something that our CEO always talks about is kind of zero trust, for example, is zero trust is a journey, not a destination, right? 
what we're looking for here is any digital transformation project that you have, ensuring that you've got a robust and secure environment before you can start advancing. So for what we typically see is the larger tools you have, the different methods you're going to, if you cannot guarantee security, if you can't ensure that you know exactly what it is that you're opening up in terms of your network, then therefore you're going to be restricted in terms of what you can achieve. So from a digital transformation point of view, it's absolutely crucial that vendors like ourselves and other security vendors as well, you need to exactly understand what it is that you're seeing. And as you know, from a Gigamon point of view, we show everything that takes place on a network. And again, if you can't see everything, you can't 100% trust everything that you're seeing. So for us, it's absolutely vital that before you start thinking about any digital transformation project, you've got to know what it is that's out there and what you're seeing. And again, making sure that you're making sure that you've got already in place a security platform to be able to then start increasing the size of that because again it will only get bigger it will only advance and you can't suddenly go backwards after you transformed your entire network and entire environment you've got to make sure you do it right at the very start and underpin that transformation project i have a very personal opinion on this there is a very, very big difference between enablement and training and certification. So certification means somebody can go onto our website and they can watch a video for an hour and feel as though they might understand our product and how it works. Now that's certification and that's a certain amount of training. We believe enablement is a very, very different thing. And enablement is actually spending time with a partner, commercially and technically, so that they understand how our product works but how our product also works in conjunction with those alliance and those ecosystem vendors. So spending time with them face to face. And in this region, we actually have a dedicated channel SE alongside our CAM that's able to then help them commercially and technically understand where our product fits. Again, Gigamon is not just sold in isolation. We sell it alongside other vendors and other products. Again, the exclusive hold. So enablement is really, really important for them to understand how that works practically, getting their hands dirty to understand how the product is fitting in, how they can get the best bang for one of those products. So for me, enablement is not just being able to watch a video, it's spending time with them. And also to get to hear our sales team and how we sell, how we pick up the phone and do an initial cold call, how we go and convince an end user of why our product's gonna benefit them. So again, that's enablement. So we don't see enablement as just going on and being certified as a partner or an end user for that matter we see as spending time with a partner and the end user so they understand exactly how we sell and get to hear us do that. So I think that's the best way of actually training and more importantly, enabling our partners. Hi there, I'm John Kane. I am the EMEA Senior Director for Channels and Alliances here in EMEA. And I'm responsible for all of our partners, exclusive networks and other DISTIs all of our partners, their resellers, GSIs, and managed service providers. But I also look after our alliances, uh, which are basically our ecosystem vendors that we work with, whether it's security, network, or infrastructure vendors. 